My name is Anne, and today I'm going to show you how to install the stock ROM for any Samsung devices. So this is a uh, uh, the procedure that requires a computer, a program, and your Samsung device. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so uh, before flashing, I'd like to give you some precaution steps. The first of which is that you need to back up all of your data on your Galaxy phone. Because uh, during the, 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 the flashing process, it will involve wiping your phone's data, right? And thus all of your data will be lost. So make sure uh, that you uh, back up all of your data before doing the flashing. The second of which is that you have to you should um, make sure that your phone's battery is somewhere above 50%. That way, uh, your, your phone won't die unexpectedly uh, from a battery drain during the flashing. Right, that, that is very dangerous. Alright, so once you've got all of the stuff uh, worked out, you can, you can now uh, begin the flashing process. So the first thing you have to do is to get the firmware itself, which is the most important uh, aspects of the flashing. Uh, you're gonna head head into the website, and um, the the one of the websites that I recommend for getting Samsung ROMs is SamMobile.com. This website is a huge collection of many Samsung stock ROMs from a uh, for a variety of Samsung phones, including the, the latest Galaxy S10 and S10e and Galaxy Note 9. So, uh, for example, I got uh, the Galaxy J7 2016 over here with me. And you just need to uh, hit the model number, uh, J710FN, which is, all, which is also the model number of the Galaxy J7 2016. Just hit here and uh, hit on the search button. It will uh, give you a variety of ROMs, right? This is a some of the, the stock ROMs, yeah, Samsung ROMs for the Galaxy J7 uh, from many different dates, uh, Android versions, and of course your regions. Uh, make sure when you download the firmware from Sam Mobile, uh, get the one from your uh, corresponding to your region, right? Because you don't want to download from a different region because you might uh, get some services, some country-specific uh, services that may not work at all. So um, make sure that that is not the case. Uh, with my case, however, I am from Vietnam and uh, my model number is XXV. So I don't get the, my ROM from here. I actually got it from another website. Um, but again, you can go anywhere, not just Sam Mobile, and look for a latest ROM. Uh, try to make try to make sure it is it, it is legitimate though. All right, once you get all uh, the, the firmware downloaded, you should see the file is listed in a form of MD5. Right, though your the endings is MD5 tar MD5. That is the ROM for Samsung phones. All right, so the second thing you need to do is to get Odin. Odin is. Um, Odin is a really good, is a, a flashing firmware for specifically made for Samsung smartphones. So uh, just head into the download links I give in the description down below. Get the version 3.13.1 and open it as an, an, an administrator. At this point, you should launch this kind of a window like this. All right. So sorry. All right. So let's back. Just get back to the Galaxy J7. The first thing you need to do is to reboot this phone into download mode. Uh, it's pretty easy. First of all, just uh, power off your phone. Right? Again, just trying to do the backups and stuff as I said before. Um, and then you need to do the following things. First of all, uh, hit the power button for hit uh, press and hold the power button for a few seconds and then when as soon as the device vibrates hit the volume down home button and power button at the same time All right ready here we go
right, at this point, right? Press the power button first, press the power for a few seconds first, and then after a few seconds, um, press the volume down, power, and home button at the same time, and press and hold those three keys at the same time, until you see this uh, screen here, which says, warning a customer worse can cause critical problems in phone and install applications. At this point, just hit volume up, and now you're in download mode. Right, at this point, just leave it there. The next thing you need to do is to connect your phone to your computer. Right? Just uh, connect it right there. At this point in your computer, you will see the little green box been filled here. It says 0, 0,7. Uh, which says that it, it is recognized. Now, you need to go ahead and uh, assign the firmware to the Odin software itself. Hit, so, uh, click the AP option, right? AP here, it means application processor. Uh, the others are not, you know, uh, meant for the ROM. And locate the, the ROM that you just downloaded earlier. Again, make sure it is in TAR MD5. You can also make sure it's in the AP file as well. You can see that TAR, MD5, SMD, GZ, TGZ are accepted. Right, just hit there. Alright, once it's done, uh, it should be filled here in the line like this, right? And then in the checkbox next to the AP uh, button. And the last thing you need to make sure is in this option here, we've got some auto reboot and every set time everything is set up. And once you've done, the only thing you have to do right now is hit the start button, right there. Now don't unplug your device or do anything to your computer and your devices at the same time or else it will fail and it will um, put your device in critical situations. Alright, it should take a while and uh, so I'll be back, so I'll be back. Okay, so it took only two minutes and it's already done. You can see that it's all threads completed. Succeed one, failed zero. At this point, your phone will be put in this sort of installing system update kind of mode, right? Um, just go ahead and leave it there. Um, don't do anything. It will do its part. Uh, so again, wait for another few minutes for it to do all the system updates and erasing and erasure and everything like that. And also, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Alright, at this point, the device is uh, should reboot, and you should be booted into the welcome screen. Now, on my phone, um, for some reason, it's uh, encrypted, and so I have to boot into the start recovery mode and wipe everything and do uh, it and reboot the phone again. Uh, but eventually, we still head into the screen here, and at this point, it's just as easy as, easy as setting up. Alright, so the phone is, should be now be rebooted and it is now on the home screen. Alright, this is the uh, good old same Galaxy J7. You still got the briefing page, uh, all that stuff. Alright, so this is uh, pretty much how you install um, the stock ROM for pretty much any Galaxy uh, phones out there using Odin. Um, and I uh, hope you like this video. hope you found, find this video useful. Uh, if you really do, hit the like button down below. And if you love my videos, hit the subscribe button. And also share this video to your family and friends who have a Galaxy phone and want to flash uh, any, any ROMs. Um, and do let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. And also uh, suggest for future videos. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.